more than I ever dreamed I would have. <laughs> I'm a member of the Forever Health Network, which is an affiliation with Suzanne Summers. And she uh, vets her providers to make sure that we are aligned with her philosophy, the hormone replacement therapy. And I've had the pleasure of working with Suzanne on a couple different projects. If you go to my website, you'll see a fun interview we did on sex after 50. She loves talking yeah. about sex, so um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and we've done some willful things. So um, if you could please silence your cell phones, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to save your questions for after the presentation, we'll have plenty of time. We can have some one-on-one -on -one time, you know, if you don't want to share your personal things with the world. So the reason I became a nurse is my great aunt Edna. In the 1920s, she graduated uh, from nursing school in Chicago. Her and her girlfriend ended up hopping into a Model T Ford and driving to California to become nurses to the stars. <laughs> I grew up in California on a farm, and she used to come visit us in the summer and would share all these wonderful stories about her glamorous nursing career. So there was no question in my mind what I was going to do when I grew up. I knew I was going to grow up to be a nurse. Through my, he, she ended up becoming a nurse of Clark Gable, who was, I had a crush on him because it was one of the first movies I saw was Gone with the Wind. And she ended up, she was a, a, actually a, a home care nurse for him in his home in his later years. So we had all those stories. So my brushes with greatness with my nursing career has been, you know, working with Suzanne Summers, meeting Dr. Oz, trying to convince him he needs to have me on his show. I haven't quite gotten the call yet, but I, I'm still hopeful. So I've had um, a lot of fun with my career. I started out here at Broward Community College 100 years ago. And with that, I met someone that led to a fabulous job. And I ended up working on the transplant team for University of Miami. And I traveled throughout the country delivering kidneys. And I would go to, to retrieve the kidneys and then stay with my kidney. It was like my baby until it got delivered and uh, implanted into someone else. While I was doing that, I was going to school full time. So I was carrying my book bag along with my kidney machine. <laughs> so I had a, I worked really hard to get through school. So I transferred to Miami Dade so I'd be closer to University of Miami and um, graduated there with my associates. Transferred straight on to FIU and to complete my bachelor's degree, then my nurse practitioner training, and then finally they needed a graduate of their new master's program, and they knew that I was on a roll and I could get it done, and so they could get accreditation. So I went ahead and completed my master's studies. I've since taught at FIU, FAU, and most recently at Duke University in a postdoctoral program for uh, nursing leadership. So I've been prescribing hormones for over 28 years. I, if we do the math, it's probably a little bit longer. But working with a physician out west, and um, I was sharing a desk with him, and I was like a little sponge, trying to absorb all the knowledge I could so that I could get, deliver good care. After reviewing his charts on menopausal women, I kept seeing a common theme. He kept writing psych referral, psych referral, psych referral for these menopausal women. And this is years ago. So finally, I bring a stack of charts to him and I say, look, you know, I said, all these women can't be crazy. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, they're sweaty, they're screaming, they're crying, they're kicking me. They're, they're horrible. They need to see a psychiatrist. I said, no, 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 no. Can I please have those patients? And he says, Absolutely, you can have them. God bless you, go forward, I'll deliver babies, you do that, good. So I really was able to focus in on, on uh, menopausal women, the symptoms that go along with it. There, some are common and some are not so common, and everybody's, what I've learned is everybody's um, menopause or andropause is very different. What you feel is not necessarily what your neighbor feels. And uh, my mother's was very emotional, and um, she would cry at stupid stuff. But she, you know, she's a very happy person, very sunny person, and we knew her hormones were off if she just wasn't herself. And so I really saw that, and I have three older brothers, and they kept calling me saying, fix her, fix her. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> and so we had a, had a good life. <laughs> The thing we need to keep in mind when we talk about hormones, a lot of times the way the media pre presents it is hormones are bad. Well, how could hormones be bad if they're what made me a girl, you guys are boys? They're part of our bodies that our bodies are producing. They're not evil or bad. They're just different. And the thing we have to keep in mind, whenever we look at a research study or hear something on the news, are they talking about synthetic or bioidentical? Because it's truly apples and oranges. The synthetic hormones, studies show that it causes increased risk of breast cancer, um, heart disease, um, um, blood clots, and an 81% increase in Alzheimer's. We don't need that. So um, the bioidentical hormones, the studies have been around since 1939. This is not something brand new. The first study we found was in 1939, and it was on women that had had hysterectomies. 
that they gave the hormones so that they wouldn't feel so bad. That's a long time ago. That's like 80 years. And then I first ran into um, bioidentical hormone pellet therapy in 1979. I was training in surgery in Memphis, and uh, we did a radical hysterectomy on a woman, which means took her ovaries as well as her uterus. And then before we, she woke up, we rolled her over and put pellets in her backside. This is 1979. That's, I did the math today, and I, I really don't want to say how many years that was. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> so they've been around, and they've been used. You know, We use the pellet system here. And the pellet system has been used in the United States, Europe, um, and Australia for uh, well over 80 years. And it's the most widely researched way of getting hormones into your body, but you never hear about it because Big Pharma can't patent it. It's plant-based. Mm -hmm. How much more natural can you get? It's made from a Mexican yam. I mean, that's very natural. But who ever thought of slicing a yam and making a hormone? I'm, I don't know about that one. So when I, was, when I was first prescribing for menopause, I was using the synthetic hormones because that's all we really knew back then. So I was prescribing Premarin with Pro, uh, Provera, and then we had Prempro, and then we had the Women's Health Initiative study that just blew synthetics out of the water and made us rethink what we were doing with women and, finding a, and we needed to find a better way to make people feel better. So this is where the study shows a 41% increase in stroke, 29% increase in heart attacks, 26 increase percent in breast Alzheimer's dementia. That should have gotten the headlines. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what a way to go. We don't want that. So that study showed us the worst outcome of, bio of uh, synthetic hormones. And what they did is they used the wrong drug. They used synthetic. They um, did not use the bioidentical. It's the wrong dose. They gave everybody the exact same dose. Mm -hmm. And that's what I used to do when I prescribed it. We started everybody at the same dose, and then we would adjust up or down depending on how they felt if they happen to call back. How many women tried it a few days, didn't like it, and didn't call back? You know, who knows? And the wrong route. We were giving it orally, where you don't want to give the hormones orally, else it goes through the liver and can cause damage, where if we take it another route, pellets being the best way, you get the best result. So after the Women's Health Initiative study, I really got to thinking that I need to find a better way to help these women because None of the doctors wanted to prescribe the hormones because of all those studies and the potential lawsuits. So I decided that I really wanted to focus in on bioidentical hormones, and um, I decided to search out the nation's greats. And so I would uh, study under them because I wanted to become the best. I wanted to know that I was prescribing safely, the right medication, the right dose, and the right route of getting the, the hormones into them. So I traveled to Salt Lake City and I studied under this fabulous doctor, Dr. Neil Rousier. He's internationally renowned. He knows the research inside and out, quotes it, and knows it and believes in it, and really gave me a great good feeling about the bioidentical hormones, about how not only the feel-good benefits, but the health benefits. Prevention of Alzheimer's, heart disease, <coughs> helps support the breast tissue to prevent breast cancer, helps rebuild bone for osteoporosis. I mean, all this really wonderful information then I went to Orlando, studied under Dr. Sanjita Patty. She's a wonderful doctor in Orlando, very knowledgeable. And then to Naples to study under Dr. David Rosen-Sweet, and he had his interesting ways of prescribing oils. And uh, so I was learning all these different things, coming back from my, my teachings and all excited about the feel-good benefits and the health benefits, but I wasn't learning how to prescribe it properly. They weren't giving me what I needed to prescribe safely and properly to my patients. So I was very frustrated, and I was speaking with a colleague of mine out in Idaho, and she said, you've got to go to Texas. You've got to study under Dr. Gary Donovan. Okay, back it up, off I go to Texas. So I studied under Dr. Gary Donovan, and you're all getting a free book of his that he wrote on hormones. And he's an excellent speaker, and he writes as he speaks. It's an easy read, but it's really good information. It really brings home not only the safety and the feel-good benefits, but the long-term effects of it. So I went to Dallas, and what was unique there is he taught us how to dose it properly. He's, he's brilliant, and he put together this algorithm, a computer program, where I can personalize a dose for every single one of you by your weight, your age, whether you smoke cigarettes. Women that smoke cigarettes burn through estradiol much quicker, so we have to factor that in. We put in certain hormone levels. We put in certain thyroid levels because a sluggish thyroid can mimic low hormones, and we don't want to just fix one and still have you not feeling well. Vitamin D3, we feel that's almost the next hormone. It's, it's very critical to have an optimized D3. It helps with not only your bones and your teeth, but also helps prevent a boatload of cancers if you have it optimized and maintain it. 
So we find that to be critical, so we factor that in there, so we'll have a dosing of that as well. And then I put in physical characteristics after our consultation, did you have a hysterectomy, breast cancer? Are you on thyroid medication? Are you on hormones? Click, 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 click. I hit calculate, and it populates a starting uh, dose just for you. It'll tell us exactly how many grams of testosterone, how many grams of estrogen, how many milligrams of progesterone if you still have a uterus. And um, for the guys, it's the total testosterone. And then it'll also tell us um, thyroid, if you need your thyroid corrected, um, it'll tell us exactly how many milligrams to write for. And then for vitamin D, how many I use a day your body would benefit from. Also iodine, probiotic, omega-3. So we have a nice little starting list just for you, personalized for your body. So that's one of the things that I absolutely loved about my training there. So what are hormones? Hormones are chemicals that are created by our glands in our body that work throughout the body and fit into the receptors on the cells in a lock and key fashion. And that's what bioidentical hormones do as well, where the synthetics don't fit in there and they don't work as well. So here is, with the term bioidentical, what is that? It means that the actual molecular structure of what we use is exactly what our body produces. So it does fit in like a lock and key fashion. Where the synthetic hormones is kind of like putting a square peg in a round hole. It just doesn't fit and causes all types of reactions. So there's my little Mexican yam there. That's, <laughs> that's what our hormones are derived from. So estrogen, present in both men and women, large amounts in women, small in men, has over 400 functions in the body. Our estrogen and testosterone is produced in our ovaries and over time, naturally, we stop producing it. Well, 400 functions are not being met unless we bring that back in. One of the most obvious ones is, well, the hot flash is number one, but the skin, the collagen of the skin, it helps support the skin. I can tell, my mother and I used to sit in a restaurant and point out who was on permanent and who wasn't just by their facial skin. The women that look like a little bit crisp, crinkly, thin, frail skin haven't had the collagen support of the estrogen. And so if you just picture an apple that you leave on the counter for three months, come back and take a look at it. That's what aging is without your hormones. It just shrivels up. And what's going on up here is going on down there. So things get different. And if you can support the collagen, you have a much healthier body helps with your me memory, your bone density, collagen in your skin, and it's a happy hormone. I, I, I can tell my mother hasn't had her hormones, I, just in her voice when I call her in the morning. <coughs> testosterone, and provide, besides providing major symptom relief, testosterone is inherently re responsible for those night sweats. If you're having those night sweats, waking up all sweaty in your bed, that's from a lack of testosterone. Um, it also protects the bones, actually helps rebuild bone. And I've seen it in my clinical practice with patients, my gynecology patients, I do a bone scan on one year, it shows osteopenia, the beginning of osteoporosis. The next year we repeat it after a year of treating them with the pellet therapy, it's normal. And can you imagine not having to take all those chemicals if you have osteoporosis that actually can make your bones stronger naturally? I mean, I just think that's the best. The brain, the studies are showing that having your hormones optimized actually helps prevent Alzheimer's. What would you do to prevent Alzheimer's? That's not what I want. That's not the way I want to go out. Breasts, supportive for the breasts. Helping, we're showing, our studies are showing that people that have their hormones optimized have less of an incidence of breast cancer. That's big. Heart, helps prevent heart disease. Don't joints start hurting again. He says that's how he knows he needs a pellet. Where I have other people that will notice their focus, their energy, their moods. So testosterone is present in both men and women. A lot of women know, don't know that we naturally produce it in our ovaries, but we do. Not a lot, but enough. And so large amounts of men, small in women. And men, in, during their ages of 30 to 70, will lose 1 to 3% of total testosterone production per year. But the interesting thing with guys is it doesn't always, and women actually, it doesn't always correlate with your chronological age. I can have a 35-year-old that can have a total testosterone of like 135 and a 65-year-old that will have it in the 500s. So it's not necessarily your chronological age, it's just when your glands stop producing what you need or what you feel best with. Women age 20 to 40 lose 50% of their testosterone production and it can start as early as in the, the 20s for women and in the 30s for men. 
So I'll have young ladies come in that are saying, you know, I'm, they're 35, they have a fabulous husband, a wonderful marriage, nice house, a great job, but no sexual desire, no desire to even have sex is the last thing on the list, and they feel bad about it. And so I'll test their testosterone. It'll be so low that you can't even measure it. So once I do a gentle correction of that, they get the loving feeling back and all's right with the world. So it does affect your life. So how do you feel? What brought you here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. These are some of the, the symptoms that you may notice as your hormones are declining. And it's for both men and women. The extreme fatigue, and that's one of the main reasons people come in, is I just feel tired. I lose that second half of my day. I doze off at my computer at 3 o'clock. I just don't feel like my old self. Mood swings, anxiety, tension and irritability, the lack of sleep. You wake up at 3 in the morning. How many of you are up at 3 in the morning? Want to play words with friends? You know? <laughs> <laughs> my mother's awake then, too. Um, memory loss, can't find the keys, depression, lack of focus. I have a male attorney that I've been correcting for years that says he knows he needs to call me when he can't focus. He's working on a project, but his mind is drifting here and there. And he says, that's how I know I need to call you. Brain fog, a lot of people say that once their hormones are optimized, things become a little bit clearer. They can think better. Hot flashes, that's you know traditionally what we hear about with women, and that's easily fixed with estradiol. Night sweats for women and men as corrected with testosterone. Weight gain, it's so hard. Um, once we turn 50, it seems like, or in that area, it, things don't work the way they used to as far as weight loss. We used to be able to eat fruit for two days and lose 10 pounds. It doesn't work anymore. The rules are different. I mean, trust me, it doesn't get any easier. So, but what we find is if we get the hormones optimized, we get all the wheels turning right in your body, everything's functioning the way it should, it's easier to lose weight. You feel more like getting up in the morning, going for that little walk, doing your exercise, feel like making better food choices. If you're feeling more sexual, you tend to take better care of your looks and you want to look better if you're going to be naked. So, um, <laughs> so it all goes hand in hand. And I don't like to promote it as a weight loss thing, but I do see people slimming down. When I first optimized my hormones, I think it was like probably about a couple months into it, I realized I had accidentally lost eight pounds. I've never lost a pound accidentally in my life. I'm a lifetime <laughs> member of Weight Watchers. I have to struggle for every pound that comes off. So this was a new thing. Um, joint pain, as I told you, that helps with that. Migraines and severe headaches. We actually treat some young ladies with premenstrual migraines with testosterone. Bladder symptoms. I have ladies that are saying that um, the little bit of like mild urinary incontinence and leakage um, is resolved a lot of times when their hormones are optimized. And I have one lady that comes in and she says, I know when my pellets are wearing off because I start to have my leakage again. Decreased sex drive and or performance. You just don't think about it. But when your hormones are optimized, you think about sex a little bit more, and when you do have sex, it's like the fireworks are brighter. Things are working better. They're working again. And a lot of people say it's actually better than it was ever before. So that's kind of cool. So this is Suzanne Summer. She loves to say about the seven dwarves of menopause, itchy, bitchy, sweaty, sleepy, bloated, forgetful, and psycho. And it just kind of reminds me of my first you know, job working as a nurse practitioner of the description of the women going through menopause. And then we have andropause, a male menopause. And that's here we've got a guy that's a little bit on the overweight side. And instead of being on the treadmill, he has his dog there. He has his beer. He has his remote. So um, you just kind of, guys tend to just, one of the big things is the fatigue, the weight gain, and then um, the loss of sexual function or sexual desire and is what brings men in. Um, but a lot of times they find the focus and the energy, the mental clarity, all that stuff is good. Because... Honestly, if you try to equate ED with low T, erectile dysfunction is the last thing to leave the building as far as testosterone. That's the last thing you're going to notice. You're going to notice other things before that. But it does help with many people, with, with guys with issues there. So low T and men, they may find themselves feeling sluggish and tired all the time, gaining weight, mostly around the middle usually, Losing muscle mass. After 50, you can lift weights all day and it's hard to build muscle. Mm -hmm. If you see any of the actors that are over 50 with their shirts off, like Tom Cruise, Matthew McConaughey, and they're all ripped and all that, they're on hormones. Mm -hmm. they, after 50, you can't get ripped like that without the help of the testosterone. Um, depressed. A lot of people just don't feel good. You just feel sad, you, especially if you're fat and you're not doing anything. 
irritable, and lacking in sexual desire. So how are these symptoms usually treated? We, you know, we get our Red Bull, we drink that down, our five-hour energy, you know, so and trying to lift up our energy, you know, maybe put some pain meds in there for the fibromyalgia instead of treating the root of the problem. Insomnia, sleeping pills, erectile dysfunction, you know, taking those pills. What we found is right now, traditional medicine, if you go to your traditional medicine, OBGYN, and say you have hot flashes, right now, the gold standard is to prescribe you an antidepressant. Do you have a Zoloft deficiency or a hormone deficiency? So, okay, so let's put you on an antidepressant, Amigo. Okay, what's going to happen now? Oh, you're going to get fat. Cool. Okay, so let's put you on a diet pill. We got the answer. Let's put you on Ventramine. Now what's going to happen? Oh, your blood pressure's going up. I got it. Here, we'll write to another prescription for your blood pressure. Okay, so what now? Oh, my goodness. We got high blood pressure. We've got weight gain, hypertension, hyperthyroid. Oh, we forgot about the thyroid. Let's put you on some synthetic thyroid. That's really good. And then we got stat, and we got hyperlipidemia. You have high cholesterol, so you get to take a statin now. Okay, so what do you get with a statin? Leg cramps. Wonderful. So it's really how do you want to age? Do you want to age with all these prescription bottles? I don't. Let me go back in the door. I don't want to live with a prescription pad. I want to age naturally and healthy. The positive effects of natural testosterone for men and women. Increased energy, vitality, and zest for life. I hear this one over and over and over. I just have a better sense of well-being. And I, get, I want everybody to quantify it. I want them to tell me exactly what they're doing. And I just keep hearing that one. I feel more like my old self. Depression relief to the point that we can actually help people wean off their antidepressants. Anti-anxiety medications. You don't need to take Xanax. We can balance your hormones and get you feeling well. Dr. Donovitz has done a study with his, his daughter in Texas with 100 returning war vets and P, with, have been diagnosed with PTSD. We're not going to fix PTSD, but a lot of the symptoms, the uh, anxiety, the depression, sleeplessness, moods, relationship issues, all can be alleviated or help relieve. And the testimonials from these guys are incredible. That It gets them out of the house, they can exercise again, their the relationships are better, their life's better. So it really does have an effect on that. And your improved cognitive clarity, that brain fog is lift, lifted, your memory's better, your focus. Prostate protection. A lot of times we also, traditional medicine years ago used to say that testosterone caused prostate cancer. Well, if you think about it, when is the guy's uh, um, testosterone highest? When he's in his like, late teens, early 20s. How many of those guys have prostate cancer? Zero. So high testosterone does not cause the, the prostate cancer, it's when it dips down. So if we can keep it optimized, you have a better shot at not getting uh, prostate cancer. Plus, if you're sexually active, the studies are showing if you have sex at least three times a week for guys, that it helps protect, protect the prostate. So if we keep you sexual, it's a good thing. <laughs> and then breast protection, it helps support the breast tissues, cardiovascular protection helps prevent heart attack, keeps, keeps the vessels um, nice and supple, and keeps your pressure down, your cholesterol down, increased bone strength, muscle strength, reduced body fat, lowers cholesterol, enhanced libido, sex drive, and performance, improves sleep. If you ever want to look up studies, I just put this up there. This is a fabulous website. It's a government website, and you can go on there and type in whatever keyword you want, and it'll populate uh, double-blind, peer-reviewed studies that you can look for yourself to see what it is. If you want to put in uh, baby powder and ovarian cancer, you'll find all the studies about how Johnson & Johnson has just recently been sued for that. Um, if you can research anything on there, it's a really good site, pubmed.gov. And I put that up there, that any of the stuff I say, you can find those studies on there, and I'll be happy to provide you um, copies of what I have. So the history of pellets, like I was saying earlier, that we found in 1939, using it for women with radical hysterectomies. And then here, we're talking about, back in 1949, another study with um, talking about estradiol and testosterone pellets for the uh, symptoms of menopause. And it's widely used in Europe and Australia. We have a lot of researchers in, in England um, that are producing fabulous studies on the um, health benefits and the, the safety of the pellet therapy. So it's very, very safe. Over 80 years of studies. 
I have this one nurse practitioner around the corner that keeps telling my patients that, well, you never know what's going to pop up in the next study. Well, it's been 80 years. I think something, <laughs> if there was something horrible, it would have popped up already. You know, Premarin was fairly new, and that was made from pregnant marriage urine. You know, this is made from a Mexican yam. Um, Long-term safety, used in five continents. It's clinically effective. It gives you a nice steady state of hormones. With the pellet system, it's so very different. And I've tried all the different delivery systems myself. I've rubbed creams on, I've given myself shots, I put patches on, I took pills, I did everything. And it was a roller coaster ride. You, you get it in your system, you feel great. That's all good. Then it comes down and you're just jonesing for your next patch before it's due. And so it's like you're up and down, up and down. And it's the same with the guys that are doing the shots. You give yourself a shot, you feel fabulous. Oh my gosh, you're like high as a kite. And then it comes crashing down and then you feel like crap. And that's when you get angry and beat people up. And it's not good. <laughs> so I don't like the roller coaster. I feel like women in the menopausal years and men going through andropause, the last thing you need is to add a roller coaster to it because you're already on one. So this helps kind of balance you out. Our pellet system that we use is a little pellet. I think I have some little pellet that gets inserted under your skin on the back side, just right under your belt, like right here. And it gently brings up your hormones over the first couple of weeks, and then it holds you steady for three to five months for women, five to seven for men. And they look like this. This is just, this is a bunch of them. You would just have one or two of these. You want to pass it around? All it is is compacted hormone into the pellet. There's a little bit of stearic acid that holds it together. And um, a very safe nice thing. The whole thing totally dissolves. You don't have to remove it. Like remember with the Norplant, you had to remove the capsule. And it's easy. I mean, for guys, instead of having to shoot yourself up, you know, every uh, 10 to 14 days, you come in twice a year. For women, it's three to four times a year. Low side effect profile. It's the best method to increase bone density. And we all need strong bones and good muscles as we head into our golden years. And there's no evidence of increased breast cancer risk does not stimulate the breast tissue, no increase in blood clots, heart attack, or stroke, protective to the breast, bones, brains, heart, and relationships, most important. So what are people saying? Increased energy levels, restored interest in life, increased sexual desire, consistency of moods, relief from anxiety and depression, which is huge, increased mental clarity and ability to focus, decreased body fat, greater capacity to get in shape, you can get those guns back. I remember I used to be able to swing weights for two weeks and have cut arms. After 50, you got to work at it unless you, if you don't have your hormones, it's not happening. So it helps the body return to a normal hormone balance and physiological state. We're getting you back to where you were 10, 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, but back to where you really felt like yourself. You felt good, you had your mojo, you wanted to go work out. When you did, you had a good successful workout. And it's based on the right hormone, which is bioidentical, not synthetic, the right amounts. We individualize the dose just for you. Any of the other ways of getting the hormones into you, you're guessing at what the dose is. And I used to have to do that. When I came back and I had studied creams, okay, I put a, a pearl on my wrist and rub it in. Well, I have a seed pearl and I have a jumbo pearl. What size pearl am I going to put on my wrist and rub in there and hope that it works? There are studies that show that 45% of Americans don't absorb medication through their skin at all. So these guys could be rubbing in $625 worth of androgel in their armpits and all day, all night, and getting nothing. And the same with the creams, the gels, it just doesn't work. So um, the right delivery system, of course, is the pellet system. Um, I've been on the pellets for five years now, absolutely love them, um, don't really want to live without them. I tell it my boyfriend, I tell it my brothers, everybody gets a pellet. <laughs> That's the motto in my family. A family reunion, everybody gets a pellet. <laughs> so what you need to know is not all hormone therapies are created equal, and not even all pellets are created equal. I have patients that are, that are getting pelleted across the street that are not having good results. Number one, they aren't dosed correctly. And number two, we don't know where those pellets are coming from, what they're made of. But it doesn't seem like their dosing is equaling ours. Our pellets are the finest quality. They're made at the world's largest compounding pharmacy. They have, um, they've been tested eight different ways before they come to me. Every single batch is tested eight different ways for the weight, for the consistency, for the, um, the uh, prescription strength. Only can vary by 3% plus or minus. Where with conventional medicine, like your generic drugs, drugs at the pharmacy, can vary up to 30%. So if you get a 100 milligram pill, you may be getting 130 or you may be getting 70. 
Well, with ours, we know exactly what you're getting. I back in the day when I was prescribing Premer and starting everybody out, out, out of one dose. We want to personalize it because we can do it. And you need an expert, and you got me. Mm -hmm. You. There you go. <laughs> so, how do you get started to getting your life back? And that's what I've heard from a lot of people. I feel like I've gotten my life back. This has been life-changing. I feel like my old self. I like myself better. My husband likes myself, likes me better. Um, it's all good. We can set up your initial consultation where you and I will sit there eye to eye and go over your medical history and what, what has bothered you and what we're going to fix. And um, then we can do some blood work, combine those two together on the dosing site and see what our recommendations are and make a plan for you so that you can feel better. So today we have a special, usually the blood draw is usually $195, but we can uh, schedule you for $150. And your consultation fee is waived, that's usually $150, so you're like making money tonight. But it does expire February 9th, so we got to act on it. So how do we personalize your dosing? We review your medical history. You'll complete a form that has your hormone symptoms of what's bothering you, because like I said, it's different for everybody, and we want to be sure that we target what's bothering you. We draw your blood. We do a very comprehensive panel. We're checking your red blood cells, your white blood cells, make sure you're not anemic, have a leukemia, infection, anything else that needs to be dealt with. We check your chemistry to check in on your kidney, heart, liver enzymes, your sugar. Um, we do the thyroid. We test it four different ways, more than traditional medicine does, because we want to know about the free T3 that's circulating in your body that gives you that mental clarity, that energy, and helps with your metabolism for weight loss. Um, we also test, of course, the hormones, but we do vitamin D, and um, because we know that there's so much of a benefit to having that optimized, we also test vitamin B12 because that's a that's an easy fix to give you just a little bit more energy and keep your body functioning properly. So once we have all our information, I put it into the computer and we can personalize your dose and make your recommend our recommendations. So yay, you get a goodie bag tonight. You get to take it home. And if you need, if you know if you're if you're sitting here thinking of somebody, oh my gosh, so and so should hear this. You can take extra goodie bags for as many people as you want. And in that, it has a free consultation, which will save them the 150 So um, it's a good thing to do for friends. Um, so feel free to take extra if you'd like. You know, just think back to that Suzanne Summer, seven dwarves of menopause, itchy bitchy. <laughs> you know, anybody that's a little cranky, give them the bag. <laughs> so what questions do we have tonight? Yes, sir. I'm a prostate cancer survivor. I had a radical, uh, whatever it is, the radical. It was all taken out. Yeah, all taken out, mm -hmm. very successfully, mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. For uh, a number of years, um, the doctors were hesitant about adding some testosterone, testosterone mm -hmm. to me right. because they said it could regenerate the cancer. Uh, recently, the urologist, recently, within two to three years, has said, Alice, it's been 20 years. It's very unlikely that anything's going to happen now. Yeah, especially yeah. if there's nothing there for it to Nothing grow. there. Yeah. 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 It was a pure surgical treatment. Right. There was no uh, treatment of radiation of any kind after it was so clean. Super. So, uh, but I do have a number of these problems. I'm 75 years old. People say I look, you know, 10 years younger, but I don't feel it. Yeah. I feel 10 years older. Yes. And there is an issue here that I have to address. I've been to my doctor, taken blood, and blah, 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 you know, and uh, the, um, the, th the thyroid uh, checks okay, the, the well, the, the, okay. the thing is, checks okay is traditional medicine tends to look at the TSH, which chances are it comes back in the normal range. Right. So your thyroid's fine. We don't look at that. We look at the free T3 of what's circulating. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a different way of looking at it that where you may benefit from just a gentle correction of the thyroid with a desiccated thyroid rather than the synthetic. Mm -hmm. So that's something we can work on. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But are, are there any, with the, with the cancer survivor like me, mm -hmm. are there any risks? being involved in something like this that you know of? What the deal is, uh, for you, um, we do pellet patients that have had prostate cancer, as long as the prostate was totally removed, your PSA is probably running at zero or 0 0.1, something it is. like that, it is. and there's no downside to it. Right. However, with any type of cancer that is hormone related, say for women for breast cancer or men that still have their prostate, mm -hmm. it's not going to cause the cancer. However, if you have an underlying cancer, it may cause it to express itself a little bit quicker.